Kia ora from Baby Kingdom here in Sydney. Uh, my name is Christian and this is Mark and we are come to visit all the way from New Zealand. Now we're here to visit and talk about Edwards & Co. Uh, we are the owners and founders of Edwards & Co. We started how long ago? Uh, nine, 2014. 2014. So you oh, work it out. We're obviously just children. I mean, look at these lines. <laughs> uh, but we are here, we are actually here for Mardi Gras, but we thought we'd better pop in and say kia ora. G'day to the team um, at Baby Kingdom, and it's really great to be here. We're going to run through our different products. So we've got four different products here. We've got our Otto, which is our compact stroller. We've got Olive, our double stroller, and our most recent stroller that you've just finished designing. Mark's the product designer. He creates, comes up with all the, the beautiful designs and, and the, the practicality. Uh, we've also got Oscar, which is our first baby. Um, and we've got the home stand and a few accessories as well. Mark, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about us, uh, about our history, about our family, um, and why we decided to start Edwards & Co. Yeah, so we started Edwards & Co in 2014, as we said. Um, and the reason we started Edwards & Co is we really saw a gap in the market for a product that was stylish, but practical, and no gimmicks. Like we saw a lot of gimmicks coming out when I, when I was, yeah, like, you know, this is from the Netherlands with all this fancy oh, thing it. where you can push that and attach it to your bike and you know, throw it over your stroller. You know, <laughs> you know stuff kilo. you're never going to do. So we wanted to keep it really simple, um, but also just really cool products that um, you should be really proud to use and also last a really long time. Yeah. So that's the ethos of Ebers & Co. Our mission statement is the smoothest ride possible for parents, so you're not going to get stuck in the back of a shopping centre, you know, trying to fold your stroller in the rain. Um, you know, we're going to get you out in there quickly and easily. Yeah. And we've got to keep focused on sustainability as well. So throughout our product overview today, we're going to be talking about what the products are made up of, why they're going to last long, and what the quality is like, um, and also, as Mark said, the practicality around them. You know, I think one of the one of the examples that Mark used when we first started talking to our friends and family, uh, we have got two kids. Our eldest is almost five, so four and a half, and our youngest is one and a half. So we've been um, they've been crash test dummies over the last five years. But before that we have been asking friends and family and grandparents and our parents, parents and everyone else. Uh, and one of the examples that we remember quite well around you know, focusing on the basics, like let's get back to basics. None of these 10 kilo batteries that you push a button and it automatically folds by itself. And you know, you've got these Instagram models putting their feet on the boot to close it as you walk away with their high heels. Like, God, please bring it back to basics. So um, yeah, we're back to basics. And one of the examples was a grandma on the side of the road that Mark talks about all the time and I love it. Yeah, um, we had a story of a customer who, this is when we first started, and I won't name the brand of the product, um, but uh, she was, the grandma was um, with the baby on the side of the road trying to fold the pram, couldn't do it, spent, I think she said she spent a half an hour trying to fold it, um, she couldn't do it, stress. so she left it there and drove away, and then um, the good news is that the stroller was, came, was still there when like, she came back with the parents two hours later. But yeah, that's the thing we don't want to do, is we want to make sure that um, Nana can use it as well as the grandparents. Um, and it's you know it's a happy experience yeah it's a nice experience yeah awesome okay so let's jump straight into it let's start with our newest and most beautiful product our double the olive so olive is our newest product it's a it's a stroller it's a, a nice and small four-wheel stroller um, but it can take two children so it can, it's single to double so it's actually the smallest as far as i know anyway the smallest folded double stroller that's on the market so it means that when you're putting it in the boot it's going to be nice and small if you've got an ordinary sort of SUV you should be able to fit it in there but also have heaps of room for your shopping on next to it so we're talking about practicality we're talking about being compact and of course you want it to be really beautiful um, and easy to use right now so this is aqua grey so this is a limited edition color that baby kingdom is selling um, so you can see it's a really uh, this is actually my favorite color it has a mustard handlebar and grey um, grey fabric. The fabric's 100% uh, recycled PET, so it means that uh, plastic bottles have been taken out, and actually other things like tin um, and other scraps have been taken out and recycled to make the fabric. Um, so it's zero to 22 kg, so it means you can put a newborn in here uh, with the carry cot or newborn liner, and then it goes up to 22 kg. So you know you've got heaps of room to grow your children. Um, and the seat is really nice and big. So I, we've got a four and a half year old son, Frankie, uh, and he can still fit in the seat, the canopy can still go over. And that includes both seats. So both seats are really big. So the second seat um, can fit really big kids in it as well. And the second seat um, can take up to 22 kgs as well. So both seats take 22 kgs. Uh, and to in total, this pram can take 54 kgs. So really um, 
huge carrying capacity. So 54 kilos, that's two pretty big kids, right? So that's that's 22 in the seat, 22 in the bottom seat, and then 10 kgs in the basket. Um, and the other thing we've done with, um, with Olive is made sure that the seats are nice and spaced apart, but also the weight is centered in the bottom, in the middle, sorry. So this is an example where we're trying to say, you know, we don't sell gimmicks. If you have the weight in the middle, it means that when you're going over curves, it's nice and easy to push back, and you're not battling the curve as much as, as if you had the weight centered more at the front. Um, so it means that you can sort of, if you're on an angle curve, which all, ang all curves are angled, because they've got to get the rain come off them, um, so it's nice and easy to push. So we've had questions, we took this over to France with us last year when we were trialing it and, and putting it through all of its paces before it went to market. Um, so it is pretty new in the market, so it's a really new product. Um, as I said, it's been tried and tested. This was probably three or four years in product development. Yes, yeah, so three, right? three years. And the, most of the time we spent just getting the seat configuration evenly spaced, but also really um, balanced. So um, yeah, it took a long time. A lot of people asked us, why is the seat configuration like this as opposed to having one further down? Um, and we did actually have one particular person say, well, I like it down here because it's easier. And actually, when you have your kids in the pram, and we see, we tested it, you know, when Frankie's sitting down here, um, so that's our eldest boy, when he's sitting down there, you literally, to try and push the kid up and to turn them around, it's so difficult. So, um, yeah, that and weight. Frank, and Frankie's favourite seat is the lower seat. True. So he actually loves it down there. And I, you can see there's really good vision, so we've lifted the top seat. So you can, they have really good vision all around them. They can play with the dogs, they, you know, they can do all sorts of stuff down there. Um, and there's also, this is smartly designed, so if you've got bags, um, this bar just lifts up and you can put bags underneath there. It might be a bit hard to see in the video, but bags underneath there and bags underneath here. So you should at least get a massive nappy bag at the bottom when you've got two children in there as well. Yeah, oh, I was going to put that in there, but maybe we might get that. The other cool thing you can do is um, the seat can reverse. So if you've got a newborn child, you can have them in here. We have a newborn liner as well. Um, so this is one of about 20 different configurations, right? Yeah, so I'm not sure it's 20, but it's um, yeah. around there. <laughs> Come on, say, <laughs> uh, The other cool thing is the lower seat can completely fold flat too. So you can actually choose where you want your children to go, or they can choose where they want to go. So my son, he's four and a half, he likes the bottom seat the best, so he always chooses the bottom seat. Um, but, you know, if, the, if he liked it the other way around, if he wanted to go to the top, see more around, he can go to the top. Um, so both seats are very versatile. You can have them in all sorts of recline situations. You've also got the option of um, extensions for the for sun, and the, the lower seat has the same option too. Funny story, when we first released our Oscar, which was a long time ago, we went to baby shows and people were like, oh, I kind of want to double, and I was like, well, how many kids have you got? Well, none yet, but we're thinking of having one now and maybe one in the future, so we're future-proofing. I'd be like, don't be ridiculous. By the time your kid gets to three or four, you know, kick them out of the pram, make them walk. I say that now, our child's four and a half, and he loves going in the pram. I'm like, lazy little. <laughs> but anyway, he loves going in the pram, he has a good time, um, and actually it's great, because you can chuck his little scooter under there as well. He jumps in there, he always falls asleep in the pram, which is great, as long as it's before two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, gives us some time out. But uh, yeah, and he does, he loves it, and even though he's four and a half, um, he still fits in really comfortably, and he loves the he loves the double pram as well. Car seat, so you can have the maxi cozy option car seat on the top, um, and you can have your so you can have like if you've got a newborn child, you can have the maxi cozy car seat on top, and your toddler down below. If you've got a um, a, a newborn, baby. a sleeping baby, obviously I just showed you then pretty quickly actually, clicking about, uh, that uh, you can click the carry cot into the lowest part as well. So we've also done a cute little viewing window here. So if you've got a sleeping newborn down here, it means that you can see them down here. Um, you also have the option to just simply drop the, carry, uh, the canopy and then you, the older child has got heaps of room to view um, everything around up here as well. Do we want to take that out? So the other thing as well is when you buy the stroller, you get the as and when you buy the stroller in a single as a single stroller, you also get these two upper adapters, which basically means that you can lift um, your seat or your carry cut up high. So like if you've got a bad back um, or you've had a C-section, it's hard to bend over. It means that if you're putting baby in, it's nice and high um, and it makes it much, much easier. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's check out Olive. So Olive is our double stroller with the Maxi Cozy capsule as well. 
So there's three different options that you can put in there. We've obviously got the carry cot, the Edwards Co carry cot. We've got the main seat unit, we've got the, uh, the second seat unit, and we've also got a, uh, a capsule that you can put on. Yep, so um, with the capsule, you'll just need to get the Maxi Cozy adapters, uh, which is a very popular accessory that we have. So they're labeled right and left, so you right, uh, left. Okay, so then to put your cap capsule on top, you just simply connect it there, and so that will lock. Um, so you can see your newborn up here and then your other child can go down. By the way, if you're putting the child in the lower seat, you can also drop this handlebar down and you can put the bumper bar down like that. So you can either put the lower child in the lower seat before you put this on. So put them on there, down there. This is actually a really common question that we get. How does the child underneath get in? Um, and our child climbs in. He's like a little monkey, gets in there and makes himself comfortable. Um, occasionally, you know, if we've got stuff down the bottom or he's just not getting out of the pram or he's asleep, um, we can grab him from here and lift him up. Or alternatively, just take your um, youngest child off and then put your child in the car or wherever. And then of course your uh, other child. Yeah, he loves climbing under, so <laughs> that's his preferred option. Cool, so yeah, that's the Maxi Cozy and as I said earlier, if you're buying the stroller as a single stroller, it's an awesome single stroller because it's really small, um, then it comes with these upper adapters too. So you can um, just use them all the time if you like and it just raises this up. So if you're putting baby in with a C-section or you've got a bad back, then it's nice and easy to lift and, and um, put them in. Brilliant, okay. Uh, so with all of there's also four, uh, four, four colours. Um, black, uh, so this one here is sage green. Uh, we've also got um, slate grey and then uh, we have limited edition colours and these come on recycled fabric so as I said earlier recycled PET bottles and recycled tin um, we use to make the fabric. Um, there's ochre grey in this one and the ruby, uh, ruby gloss as well. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so lastly with the olive, let's just talk about um, its wheels, so PU functionality versus air tyres, let's talk about um, quality, let's talk about stability, yep. um, all of those things that people ask when they're looking at buying uh, a new stroller. Yep, so um, as I said earlier, both seats are 22 kgs per seat capacity. And what's the total weight with both seats in it? With both seats I think it's around 14 to 15 kgs. Okay, and Without, with just as a single, exactly like you've got here, it's about 12 and a half. 12 and a half, okay, yeah. super manageable. Actually, we're going to want to see this folded, folded down as yeah, well because yeah. that's super important. So, to fold it, you need to have the seat forward facing and uh, it's the seat also sitting upright. I like to put the, the brake on. So, the, the way the brake works, by the way, is it's, you can see a little green indicator there, which means go, and then when you push lock, it goes to red, which means it's locked. Um, then to fold it, you've got a trigger here and a trigger here on both sides. You pull them back and you just push that down. And then you can also put this uh, down for a bit more boot space. And if you need more boot space, um, for example, if you're picking people up in the airport, which is the most common one I find, um, you can actually, there's a button on the wheel here. So you can push that off and that gives you heaps of more boot space. So it's just one click with your thumb, right? Yes, so there's a button on the wheel. Just push the middle in. Yep. Super easy. Okay, and so that's 12 kilos in total? 12, 12 and a half. 12 and a half kilos yeah, in total. Yeah. Okay, and the best way to lift that? Best way to lift it, I like to lift it from the bumper bar. Yep. Um, or you can hold it from the side there, lift it from the top. Okay. And does it stand up when it's... Yes. If you wanted to put it into a cupboard at home, some... Yeah, it stand nice folds, yeah. Yeah, okay, and then to perfect. unfold it. If that's a little bit too heavy for me because I've just had a C-section yeah. and a 12 and a half kilos might be a little bit too much, what do I do? Yeah, you can release the, um, the seat release. So uh, what I might do is actually unfold it. So if I just unfold it there for you, you can do it in two stages. So the way the seat releases is we have a unique system called the memory uh, release system. So you basically you push this button here, button here remembers your push and then you can lift up without having to coordinate the buttons all at the same time. So you can take that off. Um, put that into the car and then fold it like that. Um, another way you can do it as well, if you've got two seats, and to fold it with two seats, uh, what you can do is, so each uh, seat releases with a thing we call the memory release system. So there's a grey button on each side, so you push each grey button, it remembers your push, um, which means that you don't have to try and push the buttons at the same time you're trying to lift the product out. So 
release the lower seat first. Then what you can do, I like to put the canopy down, put your brake on. So just show us again, sorry, how you did the pull up. That people might have missed that. How easy it is to fold it down. The pull up. Yep. So how two fingers on either so side. So one finger here and one finger here, and then you pull that trigger back. Okay, so that folds there. So if you can imagine you put that in your car, and then what you can do is you can just slip this underneath. Um, so just take the bumper bar up a little bit. So yeah, you can... Um, so compact and easy, look at that. Yeah, so even with two seats, it's nice and compact. And you can, if you've got a medium SUV, you can put it to one side, yep. and you've still got room for your shopping. So Oscar's the original baby. So this is our best selling frame. Um, so we're obviously, as you know, we just said before, we're from New Zealand. Uh, three wheel is the most popular there. The reason being is it's quite a mountainous country and there's a lot of off-roading and that sort of thing. So three wheelers are the best to walk with. Like that's the way I'd describe it. They're just smoother, um, you'll be have less bumps and they're actually quite easy to make, a bit easier to fold and things like that. Great um, for so gravel, great for grass, off-roading, yeah. um, potholes. <laughs> yeah, so um, Oscars are definitely our most popular product. Um, it has a similar sort of vibe to Olive, uh, the way it works. So we have the memory adapter system with Oscar as well. So basically to release the seat you push the button on each side and it remembers your push so you don't have to try and coordinate the buttons at the same time. So I guess, hang on, let's just jump straight to the key question people are asking in their heads while they're watching this video. Well, why would I buy this when I could buy this? What's, what's the key difference? Obviously, so if you're wanting to sort of future plan yep. your children, so you, if you think you might have two children um, within a couple of years of each other, then Olive is definitely the product for you. Um, and Oscar is slightly lighter, so it's, uh, it's I think it's around 11 kg, so it's a one and a half kg lighter than Olive. Uh, okay. And it is actually, funnily enough, the same size folded. Mm -hmm. um, but the main thing is that it's lighter, and as I said earlier, it's three wheelers are the best for walking with, and they're the smoother. So you're going to find it a little bit smoother than Olive. Um, or generally or smoother than most four wheel frames. Um, the wheel? The one wheel at the front. When we're talking smooth, so we've got one wheel with PU, one wheel with air. They're both the same. Match. So, so they're, they're both PU. really high quality. Um, it's actually called TPU, but it's TPU. like a really high quality. It's like rubber. It'll just feel exactly the same rubber, but it's more durable. And it doesn't leave the marks in the floor that rubbers, rubber does. Right. Um, the puncture? Other thing with, will they get a puncture? No, absolutely no punctures. No punctures yeah. like so the that. other thing with Oscar, if you're more of an outdoors sort of person and you're active, um, Oscar you can jog with, Okay, great. Um, so we have some really tight rules around like where you can jog but it's all in the instruction manual, but you can jog with it. We've also got the option with Oscar to have air tyres, so if you want to upgrade to air tyres, air tyres like I would describe these tyres as a sort of a 4 out of 5 for Oscar on off-road, but if you really want the ultimate off-road smooth, like real smooth, then you've got air tyres and with air tyres you can reduce the pressure on them so you can have really light pressure which makes, basically will just glide across smooth. gravel, like if you've got a lot of gravel where you are or you're doing sort of a near a beach or something like that, then you might want to look at getting air tyres. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing with our three-wheeler, there's other three-wheelers in the market with air tyres, the cool thing about our product is you've got this, three, this reverse seat option. Right, so you don't get on other three-wheelers. And this was a key selling point when we first released it, is that nobody had a reverse seat option, so yeah. forward-facing and reverse-facing. Um, obviously when you're, you've got a new baby that slides down flat as well, you can put the newborn insert in here uh, so your baby can see you etc. And then when they grow up or start crying, um, then you can easily just turn them around so you get your own peace of peace and quiet. Bye baby. <laughs> and off you go. Uh, so yeah, forward facing, reverse facing I think is a key factor. Also we used to talk a lot about a, um, a travel set. Uh, which is, incorporates obviously your, your key s main seat unit. You've got your carry cot, which is amazing. Um, we used to use this all the time. BC, before COVID, we used to travel all of the time. Um, we took our, our little boy Frankie from about six weeks. Um, we'd been to LA, we'd been to Bali, we'd been to Sydney, Melbourne, Fiji, um, all in about six months. And he slept in this the entire time. Uh, so we didn't have a travel cot or a porter cot, we didn't need to make sure there was one at the hotel or the Airbnbs that we went to. Uh, he was in here. Uh, when we were out walking, he was in here. When we were at, you know, at the beaches, whatever, he was in here. Um, so it was great for the first six months. Actually, he was quite little, so we actually used it a lot longer than the first six months. Um, but super convenient for weekend travel, for going with the grandparents, um, barbecues at mates if you want to stay later than, you know, seven, eight o'clock. Um, great. It's 
approved for overnight sleep. Yeah. Um, really comfortable, super luxurious. Well, it looks it anyway, and they sleep well, so must be. Um, and it's yeah, really highly rated. A lot of our friends and family, and a lot of the reviews from our customers just absolutely love it. There's often people like, oh, but do I really need it? I mean, no, you don't need it. But if you want to, you know, enjoy your life, enjoy your life with a baby, then yes, 100% you need it. Um, and so the other cool thing with this fabric is it's also recycled um, PET on the black carico, and it's uh, made with this thing called dope dye which means that they um, it's more environmentally friendly to make it because they don't waste so much water because basically they inject the colour into the fabric rather than putting a fabric into a dye. So you know. um, But also it's really, it lasts a really long time, it doesn't really fade. Oh, so, awesome. so if you leave it out in the sun, you know, you're going to notice it's really good long lasting quality. And so, oh, sorry, the black colour is the, the black. one that fades, but this one will generally fade over time, but it's really, if you come and feel the fabrics and stuff, we spend a lot of money on fabric and we get it from, we make it really, we make our own fabric um, yep. and you know, so it's really high quality. And it's all sun proof? So it's UPF 50, yeah, yeah. UPF 50. I was also going to show with the carry car, it comes with the sunshade. So what you can do is, um, this is instead of using a mus muslin cloth um, out and about when you've got baby asleep. So you can fit it on and leave it there. Yeah, forget the muslin cloth and the pegs and all that rubbish. Get a decent sun visor. Um, you know that actually they can breathe within there. It's going to stay on. There's no gaps and it's sunproof, right? So it's, what did you say, SPF? So it's UPF, UPF 50, yeah. UPF. So this is UPF 50 as well. So what you can do is leave it like this. And what we've designed it to do is have promote airflow. So um, airflow can come through here. So this bit's actually, you can see there's a hole sort of open in there. So if it's the middle of summer, yep. you'd likely take this off, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd definitely take the cover off, yeah. So you take yeah. this bit off as well, just yeah. to increase more airflow. If it's the middle of winter and you're in Queenstown skiing, probably have it on. Um, but yeah, take that off, then you put the sun cover on. Um, so you've got a lot of airflow options with the carry cup, by the way. So you've got that, you can open that. Yep. Um, we've right also here. got just to air out the mattress at the bottom, there's also another vent here as well. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of people worry about their children uh, with safe sleeping, etc. So airflow, I think, is so. I, and just as a general note, I would just make sure, always make sure you're checking the temperature of your carry cot, especially in Australia, yeah. um, because that can get really hot really quickly. So generally, if we, if you're at home and you're sleeping, baby, we always say, open it up, have it completely open. Yeah, um, yep. and have it in a nice cool place, um, you know, and obviously, I mean, no smoking. Um, but if you're at the blow. beach, for example, yep. if you're at the beach, you want to make sure this is going to keep them covered from the sun, but it's still going to be damn hot in direct sunlight. So looking for shade, under trees, you know, canopies, tents, whatever else you can have. Yeah, yep, cool. So Just that's sensible sun use. Yeah, sensible sun use, that's right. So yeah, so the other cool thing about Oscar that I love, and just because I've been using Oscar for a very long time, <laughs> Let me guess. The basket. So yeah, so it's got a huge basket. So you can you could fit at least three um, big nappy bags in there. I put we put umbrellas from the beach in there. Um, wine. Wine, yeah. <laughs> um, so the, the, it actually has a 10 kg storage capacity. Um, and the seat on Oscar, by the way, as well, has a 22 kg storage capacity. So they're nice and big, and generous sizes. I'm just thinking of speaking of wine. We also have a cup holder. Um, which is very important for those days at the beach, uh, if you're going running, uh, if you are having a picnic, or just out and about, even a coffee, it even holds a coffee. And we also have pockets in the basket too, so if you want to put your drink bottle um, or your wallet and that sort of thing, you can do it here. On the back of the seat there's a sneaky little pocket, so if you've got some valuables in there potentially, you can put them in there. Phone, yep, wallet, phone. phone. The same with Olive, um, Oscar also has a really good canopy, so it has this extension option here. A lot of people don't know about this. Yeah, so you can um, you can have it like that, and you've also got an extra window bit there too as well. Um, and this this Oscar here has been shown with the um, optional Lux liner, which is an accessory you can buy for Olive and Oscar. Um, and there's I think there's about five or six colours. So this one's in the red rust colour. Um, this colour here is called sand. Uh, we also have a slate grey black option as well. And the way Oscar folds, which of course is the critical thing. Oh yes. Always, always seat forward. Um, put the brake on. And on yeah, take the cup holder off. And just folds like that. And then you can put the footrest down for more boot space. And then as I said earlier, if you need even more boot, oops, make sure your fold lock's engaged. That's the fold lock there. Um, and 
on the wheel there's a little button so you can push the button to remove the wheels and that gives you heaps more boot space as well. Yeah. So what are some of the key things here that people don't know? Often we're doing tips and tricks on Edwards & Co Facebook page or Instagram page, um, top three things that people miss. I've noticed one of them, people get so wowed, they're like, what? Never knew that happened, I've had oh, the pram for three years and didn't even know that we had the extension on there. Uh, probably also the, the height adjustment for the handlebar, so if you're taller or shorter, yep. it'll fit most people. Yep. Um, what else have we got? I guess the, probably the seat, the wheel release is one thing that everyone forgets. Yep. Um, the front wheel can also release if you need to. Oh, and um, lock. And, oh yeah, so there's a front wheel lock too, so that's a swivel lock. So that will just, it's really if you're running, um, it means that the stroller will go straight. So if you're going for a bit of a jog, yep. um, yeah, lock that into place and keep the wheel going straight so it doesn't, um, yeah, swivel too yep. often. And then if you bring over the Maxi Cozy, so if you've also got the option as well for a Maxi Cozy car seat. So this again is the, tra the travel system, the three in one. So you've got the main seat unit, you've got the capsule, and you've got the carry cot. So three individual products that all fit into the one pram. Um, being there. And by the way, it's not just Maxi Cozy. It's also approved. So most Maxi Cozy capsules, and also Nuna uh, Nuna Click, and Infra Secure Adapt is also approved to be used with it as well. Yeah. Cool. I think that's it for Oscar. Yeah. So that's Olive, uh, double stroller, Oscar, single stroller, and then our third little baby is Otto. And that's our compact stroller, which gets a lot of use on the plane, when we're traveling, even just whipping out to the shops. It's super easy to fold, really quick and easy, uh, and it fits into the back of, um, between seat units and the, what do you call it, the wheel? The Behind wheel. the seat of the car? No, but you call it something else, like a wheel. Anyway, something <laughs> technical, small spaces. Um, so again, lock it, I haven't done this for a while. Pull this up, and... So by the way, this goes from zero kgs to so newborn. You can put a newborn in here. Oh yes. And to 22 kgs. So and it lies flat for newborn. I'm just gonna take the bag out before you fold it. Yep. So it lies flat for newborn. Again, this was one of the, I was testing this product five, four years ago with Frankie, took it over to LA. Um, he slept in here the whole time. Went out to how the old was Six weeks. He was about six weeks old, yeah, so he was yeah. pretty tiny, um, but he was in here most of the time, took him on buses, we went to the beach, we went on the big um, we used to use Ferris him in the, wheel. In the airport if he was tired. Yep, really good, really good for travel, but also great just for, you know, whipping off to the shops, keeping it in the back of the car all the time in case you need it. Uh, now to fold, we, we always do this, I haven't done it for a while, it might be a bit rusty, like the three second challenge. Um, so maybe so, put the seat up. Oh yep, yeah. it's better put the seat up. So seat must be up when you're folding. Um, and then it's like a bit of a motorbike, motorbike handle. Motorbike, yeah. So just pull that in with one hand, and then down and out, and then. Oh, oh, she's still got it. She's still got it. So, um, and that's it there. So literally a couple of seconds, one-handed. And I have done it, boarding a plane before with Frankie in my arms, showing off, of course. Um, and yeah, basically that, having him in my arm, and just doing that, putting it down. People are like, oh my God, how'd you do that? Edwards and Co, babes. Like this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's our Otto. Um, and that's really all it is, you know. It's so straightforward, it's super easy to use, compact. There's some real sneaky little features though, like that are really cool that I think you might like. And again, these are simple things that we just know really work. So there's a little pocket at the back and that's hidden. So, you know, if you're at a dodgy, I'm not going to name a country, but if you're in a dodgy place in some foreign country, then you can hide it under here and there's a little zipper pocket under there. So you can put your passport, wallet, um, that sort of thing. It also comes with this full bag. So most airlines will require you to take your pr pram on with a bag. Some of the air um, uh, stewards um, don't ask for it, but uh, sometimes they do. So when you fold it, by the way, when you fold it, this is a handle too, so that pops up nice and conveniently. Um, we've, our bag's really cool. So this comes free, it comes with the product. So you basically put... It over there like that. Um, if you need to make the product smaller, so for example, some airlines may have tighter regulations on the size of the stroller, then you can actually remove the wheel. So there's a button there. You just take that off. Okay, so if the wheels are dirty, you've got these little cute little foot muffs here. They just go straight on the side. Shower caps. Shower caps. Save getting uh, the aircraft duty or the back of your car or whatever that looks like. Um, straight on there like that. Yep. 
and the flight attendants will be very happy with you. Now uh, you can also, there's a little pocket in here as well, so when you're not using them you can put them in the pocket. Yep. Um, how easy yeah. and compact is this? This easily fits into the overhead cabin of an A320, um, of all the large jet Jets, aircraft, yeah. um, and actually also in an ATR. Okay, so the homestand. So this is the homestand here. So the homestand's a real awesome travel option or something you can use at home. So the cool thing about it is it's only 2 kgs and you can just quickly fold it like that and you can leave it in the wardrobe or something and pull it out when you need to. So like, for example, if you're going to Nana's house and you needed a bassinet or a high chair, this is kind of a nice little compact option. Yeah, super easy. So. And really easy for grandma to be able to whip up, right? Yeah, and it's got a big storage basket. So you can use it with the carry cot. So as we said earlier, the carry cot's a proof over my sleeve. So this just connects on. When you're sleeping your baby at home, um, you can use this in the lounge um, and have them with you. Or if you're cooking in the kitchen, you can have your baby with you. Um, what we always say with um, sleeping at home is have the canopy back like I've just done and take the foot cover off. So you've got a nice open um, fascinated with nice airflow. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that's the simple option. You can connect it onto the home stand. So um, we have our memory adapter op op uh, release for everything. So one click, one click, and then pull up. The other cool thing you can do with it is use it with the seat from your stroller. So you've already got your seat for your Oscar or your Olive. You can connect this on. And so quickly you've got a really cool option for a high chair or for, um, if you use it with a newborn liner, you can put a newborn in there and keep them with you in the kitchen. Yeah, and nice. you haven't got the stroller walking around the house with dirty wheels. Yeah. So for the high chair, it's approved up to 15 kgs. So we've had it tested to the high chair standard of stability wise to the 15 kgs. So um, yeah, you've got that. Sure. And if you are in the kitchen cooking, etc., you can take the bumper bar off uh, with a newborn, light flat, put the newborn insert in um, and strap them in. Probably yep. the key things. Yeah, yeah, and always if you're using it with a seat, always strap your child in. Yeah, yep. for sure. Okay. Uh, lastly, in the accessory range is the travel bag. Now we've talked a little bit about travel. We've talked about staying overnight at people's uh, friends and families, going overseas, etc. The travel bag is incredible. It's so durable. It fits a hell of a lot of stuff, to be honest. Uh, we have used it for years and years. We use it with Oscar. Uh, we would put Oscar in there. The pram, not the child. Uh, Oscar pram goes in there, we put in the carry cot as well, uh, and you can also stuff in a bit of clothes, um, some nappies, etc. I don't know if the airlines love that, but I mean, it's all child's accessories. Um, most airlines as well allow you to be able to take two bags for free per child. Check with the airline, but um, this is considered one bag, which as I said, can carry the Oscar and the carry cot in there, or the olive. Um, again, if you've got your compact Otto, uh, you can take that on board as well. So essentially, you're getting three items. Uh, for one um, and then you can also carry on a car uh, sorry pack in a car seat as well and we do use this for various types of car seats um, but you have to check with which type of car seat you've got whether it'll fit now it's super spacious as I've talked about uh, really durable uh, and you've got a bit of a, an instruction manual on how to place your stroller inside this so other will by the way as well fit olive fits olive and also other strollers a lot and of other brands so if, cool. you, if you're looking for a travel bag the good thing about our travel bag is it's really high quality especially for the price yeah and it also has wheels on the bottom ball yep. bearing wheels so if you're wanting to carry it wheel it around you've got the wheels in the bottom there yeah so <laughs> up we go on uh, yes and it also includes this wheel bag as well so if you're wanting to uh, Basically, you can put your dirty wheels in there, you're not going to get your pram. Often we just use that for dirty laundry, but um, yeah, again, lots of stuff fits in here uh, with your strollers. Now, one thing when you are packing in your Oscar or your Olive, because it's really tightly fitted, um, it means there's not a lot of damage and it's really hard for the airlines to damage it. But the bags, it's got filling in it, but it's also got a, P, like a PU lining. So yep. it's like a rubber lining. So um, if something tries to pierce it, it's going to give you a really good protection, which happens a lot with um, airlines. And the base is rigid. Uh, yeah. So the base is all rigid, and the way that the stroller fits in here, um, it protects it really well. So honestly, people that have got these love them. Um, often people will buy two or three, literally just for all their gear. It's actually one of our highest volume products. Um, highest selling products. Because other people buy it for other brands of strollers and things yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then last but not least, there's a whole range of accessories. We talked about the cup holders before. We've got the liners as well. Um, so super luxurious, comes in loads of different colors. We've got the 
rust red. And so with the liners as well, this side is recycled PET bottles. Inside is made with Serona, which is a new filling that is basically organic. Um, it doesn't use petrochemicals, um, which most fillings on most products are made with. Ah, interesting. I yeah. didn't know that. Uh, and cardboard packaging as well. So from a compostable. sustainability, compostable, yeah. from a sustainability point of view, uh, there's loads of information on the website, but you've got yeah, everything that Mike's talked about, no petroleum, um, recycled materials, cardboard, Obviously, the, the products that we've created, or the marks designed and, and created, are built to last. So sustainability, they're going to be around for a long, long time. Um, customer service is available to everybody um, for free, and we aim to get back to you within hours, um, within working days. So if there's anything that you need, you know, come straight to us or come through to the retailers, um, and we're more than happy to help. And, and yeah, we're here for you to make your journey smooth and And with, with warranty, uh, two years warranty, standard on all our products, but you can actually register um, for an extra year warranty on our website as well, so you get three years warranty. Um, just wanted to say thank you very much to Baby Kingdom for having us here with their three stores, um, Chalora, which is the one we're in, um, Castle Hill and in Alexandria, both really awesome stores, huge. Like you can, you've got so much selection here, but obviously when you come here, you'll be wanting to look at the Edwards and Coast stand. Hey, look at this, what a setup. So come and check out Baby Kingdom for all of your Edwards and Co needs.